Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to create RESTful API with Node.js and Express. I'm going to show you how to create a small server and return some data quickly. Uh, this is the demo of this right here. We have the localhost 3000 and we can see hello from REST API server. But if I type users, we can see that we're returning some users. Isn't that great? Let's jump into Visual Studio Code and start creating this server from scratch. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I will create a folder and then I'm gonna call this folder uh, with the name of my-rest-api. Then I'm gonna open this folder with VS Code and I will start creating our package, that JSON file, which will contain uh, the express package installed and uh, all the other configuration of the project. Uh, to do that, I will open a terminal and uh, I will run the command, which is npm init. Now here, you can see package name, we can call this um, rest api version, enter, enter, uh, keywords, outer, Yusman Kadir, my name, license, is this okay? I'm gonna hit enter and that's yes. After that, you will see that the package JSON file was created on the left side and you can open it and you will see the same information right here on the console that you saw before. And you, also can, you can also see the outer that you specified in that case, in your case, will be your name. Now, when we have this, we can next install the Express.js package. To do that, we can say npm install express. And after it's installed, you will see it right here in dependencies. And we can see that we have installed express of version 4.18.2. Uh, that's great. And now we can proceed uh, by creating a file here called index.js, which will be our entry file that will execute the server. Um, once we have installed Express, now we can directly start by uh, specifying const express equals require express. This is the same as in React when you say import some package from a certain package, right? This is similar in Node.js. Then we're gonna say const app equals express, and we're gonna invoke express, the express function. After that, we can say app.listen, and uh, before that, we can say const port equals 3000. Now this port can be 5000, 8000, whichever port uh, you would like. I would say 3000 here, and here I'm gonna specify the port, and then I'm gonna run a function, and I'm gonna console lock, and I'm gonna open backticks, and I will say server is listening on port 3000, which is the port variable right here. Now, after, after we have written this code, we can start the server by saying node index, js and you can see the console log right here server is listening on port 3000 and if i open the browser then hit the slash you will see cannot get this is because we are not returning anything yet for this route and to do that we can say app dot get okay so this is a get method and we specify the route, which is slash, and then we provide the request and response. And we can say res.send. And here we will output an h1, hello from rest api, API server. And I'm gonna close the h1 and save and restart the server by executing that command again, which is node index.js. The server is restarted 
I can refresh and we can see immediately hello from REST API server. Now let's create one more route and uh, I will do that by saying app.get and here let's say slash users. This route will return some kind of users to us. And again, we have specified a request and response parameters. And then here we can create an array of users by saying const users equals an array. And the first user, this array will contain an ob uh, object. And the first user is an object with uh, ID of one and name of user one. And similarly, I can create one more user with ID of two and name of user two. Once we have the array, we can return res res.json and say return res.json or we don't have to specify return, we can say res.json users right here. Uh, this will do the magic for us. Uh, once we save this and again restart the server, uh, here you can install if you want uh, a package called uh, Nodemon and Nodemon will automatically detect when you have a change in the index.js file and you will not have to restart the server over and over. Uh, instead, Nodemon will refresh your server. But I will not install Nodemon and I will execute the command uh, again manually. My server is listening again and I can refresh right here and I can type users and we can see that we are returning the uh, JSON with the array and the objects, each user inside its own object. And we can see it in raw format. This is our format and parsed, which is this. Isn't that great? You just learned how to create your first RESTful API with Node.js and Express.js. I hope you like this video. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to motivate me more to create such content for you, make sure you become a Patreon of the channel. Link is in the description below the video. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the future.